do you know who reached out to me? And uh, they uh, wanted to talk and have a conversation and see if I was okay. It's people that were Islamic and people that were had fucking family in Palestine. And I've, how humiliating is that? How absolutely humiliating is that? And these were the people I was trying to say were, were, were bad. And I, I just, I, I feel like such a fucking stupid asshole. So I, um, I watched this whole video here and with watching this whole entire video, I can honestly say, um, I think we can give this guy a second chance. Um, the fact that he realizes that, you know, you got two people coming to you from both perspectives of what he was talking about and trying to not just talk to him, but find out that he's okay. And then he's did some self-reflection of it. I think that's really cool of uh, asthma gold that, you know, as a person that he actually grew to understand what, what was going on now with that perspective, um, I'd be wrong to not give this man a second chance, uh, because people are capable of giving people three to four or five, five chances for stupidity. Um, but, and even people are willing to give PewDiePie a second chance for his negative, um, comments or then, or even the racial words to, towards it. So, um, I think he actually understands where, you know, what he said was off, especially where he has like a self-reflection on everything. And with that self-reflection actually shows that he was the bigger person and that, you know, he actually apologized, not just his people of those situations, but fans of those situ like to a point where like he has fans of his own whose families have to deal with those situations. And it's very, very sad um, that, you know, people actually have to deal with those situations on both sides. And with that, it's just, if I could say, like, it's just like, it's, it's really astounding that, you know, this person can understand. It's really, um, I would say like, it's like, I can give him, I can give him his flowers for that. And I could say, like, hey, you know what? Maybe this guy deserves a second chance. So, um, what I want to go ahead and comment on is the comments from my prior video. Um, where I said good riddance based on his comments. Now, that video was made before the apology video popped out. So, it's a good thing that I actually have um, the chance to make this video right now. Now, my main issue specifically, if I may say, of the whole situation is the fact of when I made that video, the comments in my video were off majorly, extremely. Um, like, if I pointed out the comments, and what happened with the comments, people would understand why, you know, I hold my comments. I've held my comments in certain videos because some of the bigotry that hits my comments, some of the discriminatory comments that pop up are off. And if you make bigotry, bigot or bigot like like ignorant comments or discriminatory comments your comments will not hit my um my comment section that's not worthy of my comment section um uh, i think a lot of people don't understand that that is very important and i'm sorry if you hear background noise um i have someone doing work in my in my house um it is Something that is really, really off for people to do things like hate on a culture, hate on a gender, hate on sex, hate on, you know, disability. And that's where the comment sections lead to. 
and that's where my comment section led to with such ignorant fools um i do not condone any type of discrimination towards any culture towards any type of people um because here's one thing being a being an american uh, in, in America, we actually give those chance, those chances and those choices to people to practice a religion, those, for people to be what they want to be or be how they feel like they want to be or how they feel like they were born or so have certain choices. Um, what people were saying, especially where um, I was saying that like doing things like discriminating people based on where they're from or who they are or what their culture is, is what Hitler did. Because Hitler was a disgusting human being and caused a mass unaliving of a people. I had one person in the comments go ahead and stand up for Hitler and try to defend Hitler, which is off. And I would show you the comments, but sadly, because I was so disgusted on how they were, I did not allow them on my comment section. Most of my comments will be held, especially for this video, they will be held. They will go ahead and be kept because of those disgusting, despicable comments. Now... When people are saying stuff like Asmogold is bowing down to a mob or stuff like that, it's not a mob that he insulted. There are fans of his that reached out to him that were where he was talking about who were Islamic and Palestinian that, one, checked if he was okay, cared for his well-being, but explained how they felt on the whole situation. And that's how he decided to have that change of heart which a lot of people don't have. Like a lot of people, in my opinion, just are just stupid towards it and just don't have it. Um, I have to say that, that, you know, that's very big of him. And I think he is deserving of a second chance. And I think I can give him a second chance as a streamer and as a person who loves, you know, video content and loves like streaming content, stuff like that. So it's, that's where I would be at. Um, the comments for these videos will be held and I'm telling you right now if you say something discriminatory or off like that you will not be shown on that but I think based on like the video if, which is on YouTube which is like I believe 19 plus minutes almost 20 um, I think if you want to watch it you could go ahead and take a look at it um, but I think with the with the whole video after watching the whole thing I think I think Asmogold is okay. I think I think it takes a big person to literally go ahead and um and to do that apology. And I think I think Asmogold is deserving of a second chance. I I think I can give him a second chance. 